All right, let's talk about video settings. The Mavic Pro takes the most amazing, beautiful 4K video you've ever seen, but there's a couple of settings, just like with photography, that you're gonna to wanna to set up to get better results. Now, I want you to keep in mind all of the other things, that the auto settings that it comes with will give you same kind of results you'd get if you just set your camera at auto. Here, you can tweak it a little and make it a lot better. The first thing I would do is go ahead and choose 4K video. If you go under the controls here, you can actually choose right up here. There's two choices for video, and we're gonna choose, the one I would recommend choosing is the 38 by 40 by 2160 size, so it's a little bit smaller size than the full one. The reason why I like this better is it fits much better on a standard 16 by nine screen right. without having black bars. And it, you just want it to fit the screen better. The file size is smaller. Yeah, I mean, you, you can do other formats. So you can do 1080p and you can do 720p, but if you're shooting video, you probably want that video to look as good as it can possibly look, as well as being future-proof. So if you wanted to show this later on, years from now, most likely years from now, we'll all be looking at things in 4K. Or 5K. Or, or 6K. 6K. Or 8K. And you also <laughs> want to be able to crop in. A lot of times with your video, you want to be able to crop in tight on something that is you know, far away from where your drone is shooting. If you have 4K, you'll have the extra resolution, but this little bit smaller size gives you the still like beautiful 4K quality, but it fits on screens better. Now, if you're new to shooting video with a drone, I would recommend starting with the setting here for 30 frames a second. Also, just a couple of things to, to note that'll help you. Um, there is a slow motion mode. It only works in 1080p. The slow motion mode doesn't work on the 4K video to keep that in mind. Also, here's another interesting thing. When you're shooting video, the lights on the side of the video turn off when you're recording video. That makes it a little bit harder to, when you're trying to track Light, your- Lights on the side of the drone. Excuse me, the lights on the side of the drone. When you're trying to track your drone in the sky, you start recording video, it turns them off like you're seeing right here as Terry's recording video. Yeah, recording video. And, you know, there's another interesting point, and it's one that I never thought about until I shot my very first drone video. There's no audio. When you get these clips off your drone, they will be completely silent. You won't hear wind, you won't hear anything. You won't hear the propellers. There's no audio whatsoever. There's no microphone on the drone. That's why so many people put royalty-free audio tracks behind there. And it, and it is an art, choosing yeah. the right audio track to go with it. And when it's done right, it, it looks epic. It really takes things to another level. Also, I have a tip for you if you're gonna be shooting in manual mode because a lot of people wanna know, well, what do I shut my shutter speed at if I'm in manual mode? Well, here's what you wanna do. There's actually a little math behind it. It's really, really simple. So if you're at 24 frames per second, you basically double that for moving video. So you would be, your shutter speed would then be a 50th of a second approximately. So double your frames per second and that's your shutter speed. So if you're using manual settings, and honestly, you're probably gonna get better results if you use the manual settings once you get good. Once you get good at flying, I would recommend go off auto because the, the video that you get with auto is pretty good. The video you get when you set the white balance right, when you set your shutter speed right, it can make a really, really big difference. And another big difference, and this is key, is to make sure that if you want your video to look awesome, don't shoot it at 12 noon or one o'clock. This is just like still photography. Yep. When's the best time to get beautiful shots? Late in the day or like right around sunset or right around sunrise. Those are the two times a day, just like with photography, the light is beautiful, it's less harsh, the shadows are wrapping, you're gonna get much, much better, much more beautiful and epic looking videos if you shoot at the right time. Absolutely. And, you know, speaking about the auto versus manual, it's just like your camera right now. If you put your camera on auto, yeah, it will make decisions for you and it will take, you know, it will capture images. But if you want to be in control and not have it guessing, you switch it to manual. No different here. Same thing. It's, it, that little extra effort makes a big difference, especially when it comes to shooting video. Now, in the next segment, we're going to look at some things that you can do for creating really, really beautiful video. And we'll give you some tips along there as well. But there's some, some tracking modes and different modes that you're going to want to use 
that make this really, really fun. And especially if you're, if you're doing this to be like, a, you know, making your own short films and stuff, you're gonna wanna know about some of these, I'm calling them tricks. I don't know if they're really tricks. Maneuvers. <laughs> they're maneuvers. DJI Pro, that's a good, that's Mavic a good Pro word. maneuvers. We'll cover it in the next segment. <clears throat>